Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and I wanted to share with you some things you should know about photos. And the reason I say this is I've been using digital photos for over 15 years now and I've stored them in iPhoto and photos for many years and wanted to share with you things you should know about doing that. And the reason I say that is if I go into photos, you'll see I have over 68,000 photos in here. This is pretty much every photo I have digitally for the most part, or at least I think it is. And then I have a few thousand videos on top of that. And the experience with this many photos and storing it over time could be better, but it's not as bad as some people think. So I wanted to show with you, show or share with you some things you should know about this. Now I have a ton of photos and a lot of photos obviously take up storage, but one thing you can do is optimize and I have to optimize and I'll show you why in a moment. So if I go to photos and camera, you'll see I have iCloud photo library turned on. That means if I take a photo with my iPhone or an iPad that's tied to the same account, it will auto upload to the cloud and it will go across all my devices. So if I take a photo with my iPhone, it will then go to my Mac and then my iPad and vice versa if it's all on the same account. Now I have the storage optimized as you can see here. If I was to keep my originals and my downloads on here, I wouldn't have enough storage. This is an iPhone 7 Plus, it's a 128 gigabyte model, and just the optimized phone storage takes up a lot, and I'll show you the storage in a moment. But what this does is take your photos and make thumbnails out of them, or little small photos, and those photos are stored on the phone. And then when you open a photo, it opens the original by pulling data from the cloud. And it works really well. It's pretty fast and pretty seamless as long as you have a connection either through Wi-Fi or LTE. It doesn't upload unless you're on Wi-Fi. So you'll see it says upload to my photo stream. I don't upload burst photos. Those are usually mistakes if I do that. And then I have summarized photos on and that's an easier way to kind of condense your information so you can see it better. And then you just have some camera settings here. So if we go back to photos, 68,000 photos takes up a lot of storage. Now this storage is a bit ridiculous. So let me show you that in settings. Under general, we have storage and iCloud usage, and then we can go to storage and manage storage. And we'll wait for this to populate and it will show us how much is taking up what across the system. Now it took a moment to load, actually it took a minute to load because I have so much storage. And you can see even with it optimized, I'm using 40.18 gigabytes of storage just on the device for the thumbnails. You'll see 40.17 gigabytes for the photo library. The photo stream is only 1.7 megabytes and the shared photo stream is 5.3 megabytes. So I'm using a tremendous amount of storage just on this device. So that's not really optimal. Now there's other services out there, Amazon Prime and Google Photos, which honestly I'll probably have to switch to just because the management of it is, is a little bit poor on here. So if I go into Photos, you can see I can just scroll through them quickly. If I go to Photos, it groups them and you'll see it stutters because I've got so many photos on here. Now Apple has designed this to handle 100,000 plus photos and that shouldn't be an issue, but it definitely is, especially on older devices. If I go into the year, now these are condensed and you can quickly see your photos just by tapping on them like this and kind of scrubbing through. And that's okay to sort of narrow down photos, but it's not great. So if I go into the year, you'll see I have photos and then I can show all. And show all basically shows all my photos or this is condensed and it makes a slideshow based on the year and it does an okay job. It's kind of a nice feature, but when you have this many photos, it just kind of gets weird. Now, under albums, you also have people, and people just doesn't work with this many photos. I've tried over and over, I've tried different devices, and it stops at 495 photos scanned or somewhere around there. And it says lock your iPhone and connect it to power. I do that every night. I plug it in, I go to bed, and it never finishes. So that's definitely an issue. I've seen it finish on other devices with less photos, but for this one, it just never gets through it. And the difference between Apple and Google and Amazon is the photos are scanned on the device, not in the cloud. So Google and Amazon scan it in the cloud, Apple scans it here, and it just never gets through it. So that's unfortunate. Now, the more photos you have, the slower your system becomes. So you saw how it stuttered here, and that's, kind of to be expected, but if I go into Instagram, I can share a photo and the library just takes a while to load. 
everything just slows down because it's trying to pull that massive library. If I go into iMovie, for example, and I want to edit something and bring in new photos or video, it takes a full minute or so just to load the library so I can start scrolling through it. So it's livable, but it's really slow in not very great at best. Now you can edit right on here. You can edit your different photos, whatever you've got. And that's fairly nice. But overall, the, the system running this many photos is just not optimal. It's better to use something like Google Photos, it would seem, or Amazon Prime Photos. Either one would probably give you a better result when you're trying to do that. Aside from that is the cost of the storage about $10 per month having to store this many photos. It turns out it's about two to 400 gigabytes of storage. There is no middle in between for $5 a month. And so I have to choose the $10 per month or $9.99 per month option. And it works, but it's expensive. It's over $100 a year when you could use Google Photos for free or you could use Amazon Prime for $100 a year and store all your photos that way. So that's a much more efficient way to do it either way. So I'll be playing around with those, but I wanted to see if anybody else had this many photos. I have a ton of photos. I don't know anybody else that has that many photos on their phone, but I'd love to hear what you use. Were you using photos? Did you switch to Google Photos or using Amazon or maybe something else? Let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. I'll link the wallpaper in the description. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.